Hi everyone, this is Zach. In today's lecture, I'll be giving you an introduction to R, our arithmetic operators, special numbers, and incomplete expressions. Well, first things first, the font size is really small, and looking at it makes my eyes hurt. So, let's figure out how to make the font bigger. To do this, you type, go to Tools, select global options, click on appearance, and choose a font size bigger than 14 or larger. I suggest, well personally I like 18 because I'm really old and I'm going blind, uh, but you can choose any font you like. You can also choose themes, so personally I think this theme looks quite cool. It makes me feel like an elite hacker as I'm working on R, so it you know, but choose anything that you like. All right, it's good. The next step is the following. Uh, okay, so first, this is an this file is an R script. Basically, an R script is a text file that contains comments and R code. When a line starts with the pound character, like this line, for example, it's a comment. So everything that follows after the pound character is basically ignored and it's not run as code. If you want to execute the current line of code, where your basically where your cursor is, you can press the command the control and enter keys if you're using Windows, or the command and enter keys if you're using Mac. Uh, alternatively, you can press this symbol as well. Uh, the run symbol. So let's try it. Why do you click? Or whether you press Command Enter, you get the same result. Uh, at, when you're first learning R, I would encourage you to actually type out the code yourself, like this: one, two, three. Some parentheses: one, two, three, because it helps you to remember what you need to type. And after you've done it quite a few times and you know what it is, then maybe you can skip ahead by just using command enter. So firstly, you can use R as a calculator uh, performing you know, calculations using the so-called arithmetic operators. So for example, 2 plus 3 is 5, 8 minus 5 is 3, 3 times 4 is 12, 8 divided by 2 is Right, so that's pretty basic. Um, I wanted to mention the order of operations in case you've forgotten it. So most of you would have learned it in math, but sometimes you forget the math, even though math is important. So basically, uh, the way that programming languages interpret operations is they start with exponents and roots first, then multiplication and division, and then addition and subtraction. Come to mention, think of it, I actually forgot about this. So this is exponentiation. So for example, 3 squared or 3 to the power 2. Right, so, so this is the order precedent. This is the so-called order of operations or order of precedence. And let's look at an example. Let's say you have this mathematical expression here. First, you do the exponentiation, so 4 to the power of 2, then you do the division before you do the addition. And sometimes you want to change the order of operations, and if you want to do that, you can use parentheses. So for example, the default order of operations is 2 times 3 first, then plus 1, but if you use parentheses, you can force 1 plus 2 to be done first before multiplying by 3. When you do arithmetic, you also have, you may encounter the so-called special numbers, which are not really normal numbers, but basically these two numbers are infinity and nan, or not a number. So for example, if you try to divide something by zero, you'll get infinity, because it doesn't make sense to divide things by zero. If you even divide zero by zero, that's even more crazy, 
and you'll get not a number. Uh, finally, one thing to take note of is incomplete expressions. So if you type an expression that is incomplete, the prompt will change from the normal prompt, which is kind of the greater than symbol, you see here, to a plus. And that lets you know that your expression is incomplete and R is waiting for more inputs to complete the expression. So for example, if you type 2 plus, all right, so 2 plus what? Basically, R is saying, finish this expression. Finish your work. Don't be lazy. So you can type something, for example, 3, hit enter, and finally R has a complete expression, so it evaluates the expression and produces an output. All right, so that's all for now. See you later. Bye.